everyone this video is gonna be about peaches about where you can get your peaches from if not from georgia not just peaches mainly where you can get cherries from if you are in hyderabad india so so the cherry season starts about end of april last all through may and june two really amazing months where you find the ripest of cherries fattest and ripest of cherries just look at these these are from big basket you can get a uh, hundred and fifteen hundred grams for 800 rupees and these peaches these are priced at 110 for half a kg which is quite good for these really sweet and large sized peaches hello today is 23rd of july big basket has uh, stopped selling cherries and this is what happens every year so big basket sells those nice big cherries somewhere until around april and may and then uh, last year they started selling these himachal cherries which were not uh, as uh, good as the uh, usual ones which they sell towards the start of the season here yeah, they're not even selling the other matcha cherries that we usually sell after the uh, the exported ones or the good lot is over. That's because they must have gotten a lot of feedback that uh, we expect that it, because the picture of the cherries remains the same on their website, be it for the exported one or the. Uh, Himachal ones and obviously the customers uh, they would order uh, thinking that they are gonna get the exported ones and they end up getting the Himachal ones which is of course sort of disappointing because they definitely anyone who has had their usual normal cherries that they uh, sell at the start of the season would definitely not want to uh, have the Himachal cherries which are sort of uh, smaller in size sweet uh, nonetheless but mm, smaller in size not as uh, red as the exported ones so that has happened i am not able to order cherries on big basket i have placed my order order with uh, bombay farming co uh, last time that i purchased cherries from them they were selling out matcha cherries which was around 750 per box not per box 750 rupees for a kg uh, but those were small very sweet red but quite small so Recently they stocked up on these Afghani cherries and the description said that these were going to be bigger than the usual Himachal cherries. I placed the order. They are not just big, they are enormous, they are quite large and even without washing I just <laughs> I couldn't stop myself from tasting one or two and they are delicious. And uh, so I'm going to show you the Afghani cherries and why you should Place your order with Bombay Farming Co. This is not a sponsored video at all. I wish it was. Uh, here's the box of cherries. Look at the size of these and the color. And uh, per box would be 400 and I'll tell you it's worth every penny. Uh, these are the cherries. Uh, this is the bag that I received my order in so they usually pack your stuff in a nice uh, sort of a linen sort of bag what else did I get got some peaches what's this I like that they pack their stuff in this cloth bag Bombay Farming Co uh, I wanted to give uh, these water chestnuts a try. I do love the chestnuts, the the regular chestnuts that are from the trees that come out in the month of September, no, November. And so these are not the regular chestnuts that we get from the tree. These are water chestnuts. 
and I just wanted to give them a try. This is how they look like. Should we taste one? I'm not even sure if this is how we're supposed to eat these or are we supposed to do something with these? Hmm. Not sweet as stated in the website, but okay, I think I'm not supposed to have the outer stuff, just the inner whatever this is. Wow, I'm not even am I in the frame? Okay, now I'm in the frame. Mm. Nice, nutty, crispy, mm. it's got water in it of course, these are water chips now. And I think these are passion fruit, also never tried before. So let's see what... You know the best thing about Bombay Farming Co? They deliver everything to your house and you can just pay them through phone pay or any other UPI after they have delivered your order. And if you tell them that you want the order today, you will get it today. What happened here? Okay. So it was written, this is what they call Nilgiri. Nilgiri passion fruit. Uh, I think I'm gonna open up one and see how it is. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Look at the size of my finger and look at the size of the cherry. Wow. I just love these. Can you tell which cherries are from there? So this is the size of the normal cherries, the Himalayan cherries. Uh, I think uh, these are from 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 the fruit vendors on the roadside, and these are the Af Afghani cherries, or yeah, the Afghan cherries, and these are from Bombay Farming Co. passion fruit that I ordered last week from I think it was last Friday from Bombay Farming Co. Uh, I still haven't finished it I think it is slightly sore in a very different way and it's got these black seeds and I think I like it much better if I get uh, rid of the seeds so I'm, I'm gonna make a passion fruit preserve out of the passion fruit that I have with me and let me show you all how I do it also today I received another set of cherries so as soon as I finished with the two boxes on Friday I wanted uh, I wanted to place an order for uh, another two boxes however they did not have the Afghan cherries in stock and today they pinged me and informed like uh, they are back in stock and I and I immediately placed an order for three boxes so let me show you all how uh, if they are the same this time as well so just so that you know we are more confident about their quality 
uh, because it happens a lot of time uh, you order something from a certain place and then uh, the next time that you order from the same place the product is not exactly the same this is especially the case with produce uh, fruits and vegetables so i would certainly want to check how the cherries are this time so here's the here's the new set of cherry boxes from bombay farming co Sir, keep your leg with yourself. Keep your leg with yourself. <laughs> We got three more boxes, and yes, indeed, these are the exact same cherries that I got the last week. Okay, let's open and see if they are any different in size. Are you all any different in size? Come on! Oh God, it's taped at so many places. Ooh, here they are. Yep, I think I would say these are same as the last time. Quite large. Let me try a few. Too many. <laughs> All right, it's looking a bit of a mess. I try to <laughs> make it look uh, sort of pretty with my dried flowers. So these are the flowers that I bought. Uh, I think last month, and I at the start of July, and I dried them so I can use them to create some pretty content. Yes, yes, Fatty helping me make pretty content with all his cleanliness. Hi, baby, you fatty boy, you fatty boy. So, I think I was actually trying to show how to make a preserve out of the passion fruit. So I'm gonna continue with that. So here, uh, most of the shells have taken the passion fruit or the fruit out, and I've put a cherry seed inside of it. I don't know why. So uh, let's see what we are gonna do with the pulp. So here's my pulp. I have put it into the mixer, and I'm gonna uh, just blitz them. I'm not gonna grind them. If I just blitz them, I will be able to separate the seeds from the pulp. I have never done this before, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that or if I'm gonna end up grinding the seeds as well. Either ways, uh, we are gonna sieve it after we blitz it. So I'm able to see the seeds floating in the rest of the liquid or, or the pulp. So let's strain it into a utensil. I'm now gonna work through it with a spoon. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but yeah, it's actually happening very quickly. You see, the top part is getting thicker, and I suppose I'll have the pulp down there. Uh, that's all I could get out of those many passion fruits. Uh, let's see, and also the liquid content is more. I thought it would be more of a pulp. But yeah. The 
color is so very bright. So I lit the flame. I'm gonna let it cook for a bit. I'm gonna add some sugar and uh, some cornstarch. Maybe even a little bit of cinnamon. No kind of cooking chest, Tava. Rice paint, Tava. Na ko rice radu. I'm unable to find the cornstarch, but the hunt is still on. This starts. This is starting to smell really nice now. So it's starting to thicken a bit. It's gonna take some more time, and only after I add the cornstarch is it gonna actually thicken. So I'm waiting on someone to get me cornstarch. So my cornstarch is here. I think I'm gonna take this much of it, put it in there. I was actually supposed to. Oh, this is not how I was. I was supposed to do it, but yeah, let's see if this is work. This this works. Oh uh, yeah, it's starting to to thicken. But I was supposed to mix or mix the cornstarch and then put it into the liquid. You see, it's definitely starting to thicken now. I'm having gonna have to put the camera away and work on it. All right, so this is how I was supposed to do it. Uh, mix the cornstarch with water and then put it into this. Then I'm supposed to start stirring. This looks nice. Seems like it's starting to thicken finally. I've turned the flame off. This is how it looks like. I'm not sure if this qualifies for a preserve or marmalade, but sort of a passion fruit sauce now that I'm gonna enjoy. Hmm. So I have licked off whatever was remaining on the pan, and this is my. Passion fruit sauce, marmalade, preserve, whatever. To be honest, I still don't like the taste. I don't think passion fruit is for me, but yeah, this was a good try. What you